All right, everybody. So we are going to learn how to sync your Outlook calendar with your Navigate calendar. So you're going to go to the Avila homepage, go over here to Quick Links, and click on Current Students or Faculty and Staff. They both have the Navigate link down here. It's going to ask you to log in with your username and password, which is the same as your Canvas, MyAU, and Outlook username and password. So we're going to go ahead and log in. All right, once you're logged in, I'm showing you this from a student perspective, but it's the same setup for faculty and staff and for students. So you can click on calendar right over here, or you can click on the calendar icon over on the left. So once you get to your calendar, uh, it's, it's empty. Uh, so if it's empty, that means you need to sync your calendar with your Outlook calendar. So you're gonna go over here to settings and sync. It's going to ask you to set up the sync. We use Microsoft Office 365 here, so please use that calendar as your main calendar. It will ask you to log in with your credentials. I'm already logged in with my Outlook on my computer, so I'm just gonna click here. Once I do that, it takes me back to Navigate and it says it will take at least 30 minutes for the sync to go through. And then down here at the bottom, it says connection successful. So we have to wait. It may take 30 minutes, it may take less than that. Um, but we're gonna wait a couple seconds and find out. All right, we're back. It took only about two minutes for the calendar to sync. So just know that it is a quick process. So now you can see that I have lots of things on my calendar. And then the great thing about Navigate is that it just says busy when you do have things on your calendar. So it doesn't say who you're meeting with or where you're meeting or anything like that, just busy, which is great for faculty, staff and students so that way you know exactly when someone is not available and when they are available without having to know all their business. And then if you needed to sync and unsync again for any sort of reason, you would just go right back up here. You can also see a list of your calendar items. So it just says the different times and the days and then you can see next week and go from there. So that is how you sync your calendar and navigate and in Outlook.